Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make this kind of a shape made with aluminium at home without any special tools except maybe for a table and a vise which is not very special, probably every workshop has one and we are going to make this shape starting with just flat piece of aluminium like this one Ah. Oh. This is a piece of my ejection seat replica for my VR gaming setup and this little shell is just a protection for the wire that goes inside. I already started cutting it out and I'd like to share with you just a few tips, if I may, about cutting aluminium because it's kind of pain in the ass at some point. It's very flexible and the saw you may be using, uh, it could kind of uh, grab it so once you pull it too hard you can just bend it so first thing I'd like you to show the best is to just cut your thing as close to the edge of the table as you can so let's grab it to the table Opa. so as I said this first line goes very close to this edge so I'm um, start cutting it and since every cut takes some room so you just like to make sure that you go outside of the line not inside of it all right and um, yeah here we go make sure that you rather slightly push oh, see <laughs> slightly push and Go back, push and go back. Don't put too much pressure, take it easy. Or you can just do little moves like that. Just remember you always only push and when you pull it back, you just go very easy, very easy on it. Also, it helps if you go with an angle not like 90 degrees the more you lean it on yourself the easier should it go for you okay i got to the end of the line and i should go this way right now so obviously this saw can't just take a turn like 90 degrees or so so i need to take it out uh, i'm not sure if you can see so to make a turn to go with this line I'm just gonna go from this place. So let me take a line, take a pen. Okay. Let's make an extension for this line. Correct. Yeah, so we go with this line all the way. Right, got it, and we have the angle we wanted. We got the angle we wanted, and just remove this place, remove this piece. I mean, so right, and uh, here we go. What is left? Oh my, this can be. This little bit easily taken out with any file. This little round corner we have inside can just do with a file. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's make this one. Okay, not going to go for like perfect exact shape right now, but you've got the idea. Okay, let's go with this long line and it's supposed to be almost all the shape and there's just little, little details left like this corner, this corner and then we go to bending basically. Ok, 
Okay. So, some time, instead of cutting all the way down, oh, some time, instead of cutting all the way down, you can just try to break it. But remember, to break it, you need to go further down beyond the point of breaking. So you see the line goes here. So we go further this way, and then we can just slightly bend it once, twice, and a few other times. Okay, and uh, be careful with this, you don't want to mess it up. And see, so now we can just easily cut this one out a little bit with a saw and a little bit with a file, just like we did a moment ago. It's uh, 180 paper, so it's pretty fine. So it leaves nice edges, and it's much more difficult just to take too much of the material. Oh. So I actually cut out the other one, because there are two pieces, as I said in the beginning, and it just came to my mind that if you want to work with a file, it's actually the same idea like with a saw. It's much easier if your item lies down very close to the edge of the table and you just work from up and you just pull back outside. I mean, you can just push and pull on the material, but uh, you need to go soft, otherwise it's gonna jump around all the table. So. Nice little smooth move, very close to the table. And if you want to make sure you have this nice straight line, you can just use your file like this and go a few times like this. Right? Again, just getting rid of these sharp edges. Round corners, right? We've got two of them now. It's time for bending. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So, how to bend the metal if you don't have a bending machine? I'm gonna use the table and put the metal just to the table, squeeze it and bend it. Or I'm gonna use the vise. My vise is, oh, over here. This line, this line bend is going to be short and it's for sure going to fit to the vise. But this line is very long and my vise is like half the size maybe. No way I can put it and bend it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the table and I'm going to bend it against the table. And the thing you need to remember about aluminium, it's very fragile material. So you can bend it once, sometimes, maybe twice, but going too many times is going to very much weaken it and you're probably going to break it or or somehow damage the structure, which may at the best just not looked very good. So let's get to the bending. I think I will just go from the bottom to the top with the bending. And the tricky thing about bending things like that is uh, it's just kind of enclosing itself. So you need to make sure that you just bend one after another uh, so one doesn't come in the way of another, if you know what I mean. So if you bend it once, you need to make sure that you have enough of movement around so you can bend it another one. Not like if you bend one, oh great, it's done, and then, oh, how, how could I put it inside my vise or whatever to bend it again, because it's already bent and it doesn't fit. So, yeah, okay, that's just slightly at bottom. Ah, crap. 
it's time and precision this one right seems like we are getting somewhere okay here it goes the first real band No, oh, that's not long enough. So what could I use then? Uh, I think I know what I could use. I've got this cover, which is long enough. That's just my recorder, slide recorder cover. I didn't make it one yet, but I'm gonna use it just to band it. Make sure it's tight enough. And here we go with our first band. <sighs> Come on, let's see how it goes, baby. Oh, nice and tight. Not so bad. Right. First one is done. So the next band done. The next one would be this long line. And uh, I hate to say that, but I need to make it against the table. And I'm lucky enough. Or not. Oh crap, what's going on? Oh, it's going right. Yeah, I'm lucky enough that the line goes just above the table. So you see, this is what I was saying about. The line I have drawn for bending is just on the line here. If the table was too thick, I wouldn't be able to make this bend. And this is the thing, the thing I was saying in the beginning, that you need to calculate your corners and bending because you may just simply end up in a situation where you when where you just where you just can't bend it. Right, let's give it another go. This one goes. Uh, this one is harder. This one is harder because it's much more material to bend. But did I fuck up? It's not probably exactly straight this line as I wanted, but. Um, yeah, let's make it with wood. Here we go. Well, I would say not so bad for a table job. So let's go to another band then. This is when trouble starts. I can't obviously, ah, let me show you with the table. I can't bend it this way. Yeah, bending this one because it would bend this part. So, let me get table closer. So we are going to use this end of the table. Pum, 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 pum. I already see a problem here because I can't bend it this way like I want it because this is in the way see this is in the way so if I bend it on the table it's not gonna go all the way so the only chance I see is just huh, to use the vise and here the vise comes handy here we go with the vise see it's short enough so I can bend the part I want to bend and short enough to leave this outside so uh, this one doesn't stand in the way okay here we go my little friend oh, even with the vise i've got not enough room to make the full angle i just need to untie this one move it as far as i can and as high as I can, tighten it up. Oh. Use one of these little helpers to make sure that 
Everything is still nice and tight. Let's prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Now, very careful with bending because this is way outside of your vice. So if you press it hard, it's just gonna fall out this way. Nice and easy. Okay. Nice and easy. A piece of wood. See, it's moving down. That was I meant when I was saying about bending. Oops. And now let me show you. I'll take off the camera. This little bending. This little corner here. This is what was the problem with the table. If I was bending this one on the table, this wall would be just against the table. So you need to make it the way so you have enough room to hide this one below the level of bending. Yeah, I'm loving it. See? Pretty good shaping, I would say. Nice one. So, we're getting somewhere. Now we've got this one bent and this one bent. Yeah, I needed a moment to think how can I make it and I'm going probably to... Uh, do, 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 this one. This one should go this way. So we're going to use the table again. Up. Here we go. Okay, a hammer, making the angle. No, don't worry about that. So the very last bending is just super simple. It's one simple line. And this one goes like Tick. Just another little trick that came to my mind about drilling and making a holes. I don't got the right tool for it, so I'm gonna use a screw and a hammer. But if you just mark your points with a pen and try to drill, your drill may slide different directions and you wouldn't get the hole exactly where would you like to have it. So I've marked my points with a pen. I hope you can see them. And what am I going to do? I'm just gonna put a screw. It's gonna work with aluminum because aluminum is soft. It probably wouldn't work that well with steel and you wouldn't need a proper tool for it. But I'm gonna give it a hit one and I'm gonna make another one on this side. And it makes a little hole So the drill ooh, goes nice and beautiful. Plus, if you have a wood on the bottom, it doesn't actually make any difference right now. But what I mean... Yeah, just make sure you use the vise because of two reasons. One, it's easier to make this perfect hole in the right place where you want it to have. And two, as I said, aluminium is very tricky and if you would hold it in your hands and try to drill, it just go this way and could cut your hands. So I had to make two things. One was strong coffee because I didn't have one for a while. And the other one was this custom piece of wood so I can slide inside. I can put my part on it and it would help with drilling through both parts at the same time. A mark points. Yeah. Mark points. Here we go. Another one. And another one. And then you go with holes. Woohoo.
crap, do you remember what I was saying? Don't hold it in your hand. Yeah, now better. And we have beautiful, nice holes. Opa. In both parts. Now we just need to get focus on it, please. Now we need to do the same on the top side. Okay, guys. So I need to make three holes on top. One. Here we go, back to vice. Please make sure that this material you have underneath, this one that goes under this one piece, there is enough going inside. If there is not enough and you will drill, make a hole, the rivet is not going to keep it tight. Okay, so. Yep. That's enough. So we've got all the holes. All the holes ready for rivets. Okay. Top and bottom aligned. Yeah, one will just run away. But yeah, as you can see, the, all the rivets are aligned. And basically, yeah. As I said before, I'm going to just paint it. Ah, come on, come on out, come on out, please. Ah, maybe this way. Come on. Wait. Ah. Okay, two parts ready to paint. Once it's painted, inside and outside, I'm going to join them with rivets. And then I'm going to just paint the rivets and just give it another go with the paint. But yeah, this is basically it, ready to go. And I shall see you soon when the painting is done. Yeah, this is why it's just good to paint it before joining the parts together. Because it would be very difficult to go inside with a brush and paint it all the way when these two parts simply would be together. Ah, here we go. This is why. Here we go, right? <sighs> nice one! Still get the color. Maybe I just put them all inside so I can be sure that everything is aligned. It should be. It should be. But yeah, just to make sure everything fits nice and tight. And the last one, whoops, ah. nice one. So yeah, maybe I did very few little scratches, but still it's painted all around. So basically a small brush and I can repaint the rivets again. Here we go. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye guys. Take care.